for today's video, I have another haul for you guys, but wait a minute. This is actually not a clothing haul, and I know, surprise, surprise, what? Farina's not doing a clothing haul? Yes, today's video is going to be a huge, gigantic beauty haul, and I just want to say thank you to Feel Unique for partnering up with me in this video. Now, as always, before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there if you haven't done so, and also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, if you guys would like to know what I have in this beauty haul for you guys, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are not familiar with feelunique.com, they are Europe's largest online premium beauty retailer and they carry over 500 brands from drugstore brands to the most luxurious brands and you can find stuff from Dior, The Balm Cosmetics, Maybelline, L'Oreal, they have a ton and you are bound to find something you like. And also, Feel Unique is also giving you guys a 20% off coupon as long as you use the name Farina, which is my name. And yeah, I know you guys are here for the haul, so let's just go and get started. Okay guys, so when I said this is a giant and huge beauty haul, I literally mean a giant and beauty haul. They sent over a really, really big package. In the box, the first thing that I saw was this baby right here this is the magic of beauty by feel unique and it has these two really cute drawing of girls they look like fairies to be honest maybe that's just me so this is how it looks like there's a little bow and when you open the box you have this calendar thing and it goes until 12 so i believe you open this when there's 12 days of Christmas left. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna open it when there's only 12 days until Christmas because I'm pretty sure that this box is filled with goodies and I'm so, so excited. Moving on to the second biggest gift inside is this glitter gold stockings. And actually, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, is that a bag? And then I opened it up and it's actually stockings, Christmas stockings, and it is so cute. It's also filled with goodies, which I also did not expect, to be honest. But again, thank you, thank you, Feel Unique, for all these surprises. And then inside these stockings, it came with a bunch of samples. Moving on to full size makeup, I got a bunch of makeup from the brand called Sleek Makeup. And I know that we have that in the US, but I'm pretty sure we don't like carry everything. So the first three are these liquid lipsticks, and these are from the line Mats Me. The first one I have is in the shade Fired Up, which is this vampy red right here. It's a nice, nice color for the fall and winter season. Next top, you guys know that I'm obsessed with Muted Dusty Rose or Mauvey Lips. So I picked this one up from the same line called Matte Me and this is in the shade Shabby Chic. And I was reading reviews for these liquid lipsticks and a lot of people said to get the Shabby Chic because it's such a nice, nice color, which I really do agree. And then last but not least, I also picked up Old Hollywood, which is a little bit darker than Fired Up. The Fired Up one is a little bit more vibrant compared to Old Hollywood. I don't know if you guys can see it that far, but it is a little bit muted and darker and yeah, so I'm really, really excited for these. Moving on to palettes, I picked up this Sleek Makeup Face Contour Kit, which has both a contouring powder and a highlighter, and I've never opened this one yet, so let's go ahead and open this. So, oh, I like the packaging. It's very sleek. Get it? Sleek. So this is the contour shade, and then you have a highlight, which looks really, really nice, and I'm so, so excited to use this. Next up, I picked up one of their most popular highlighting palettes, and this is in the shade Solstice. I finally got my hands on the Solstice palette from Sleek Makeup, and I'm so so excited for this because it comes with two big powders, one cream and one silky shimmer powder. If you guys watch beauty videos on YouTube, you guys know that this palette was talked about so, so many times here on YouTube and this is how it looks like and I would understand why it has a very, very pretty shades. Next up, I also picked up two of their Eye Divine eyeshadow palettes and this is mineral base if you guys are wondering. One palette is called A New Day and this has a bunch of blush and copper tones. It has a lot of warm colors as well and if you guys know me, warm colors or like anything neutral is totally up in my alley so I really really like that. These are the shades on this palette right here. I hope you guys can see the color but it's just it's it's a lovely lovely palette i also picked up the all night long palette which to be honest it looks pretty similar as to the a new day palette to be honest this kind of reminds me of the a new day palettes from them but this one has slightly cooler tone shades into it there's like gray 
um, purple and I really really love this copper shade right here it is so so gorgeous you guys and I cannot way to dive into it. Moving on, I picked up a few items from The Bomb Cosmetics and if you guys are not familiar with them, I just, every time I hear of The Bomb Cosmetics, I just think of how cute their packaging is to be honest. The first item that I got from The Bomb Cosmetics is the Mary Luminizers and I actually had this in my collection. I think I just forgot or I just wanted like a backup one just in case that breaks because I know highlighters tend to break real easily but I got this one. This is one of their most coveted highlighters in their makeup line so I just had to pick it up again. Next up I also picked up this Meet Matte Huge in the shade Committed which is a liquid lipstick and my mom loves this one. Next up I picked up another highlighter and this one is the Betty Luminizer which is a more bronzy shade to be honest. It is a little bit darker than the Mary Luminizer but I don't have this one and I'm the type of person who gets really tan quickly like I feel like if I step outside for an hour I'm like 10 times darker than I already was when I was inside so I picked this one up especially to wear in the summertime because guys your girl's caramel skin tone in the summer and I feel like this will look so 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 good so yeah this is a more bronzier shade let me show you guys the Mary Luminizer this is the Betty Luminizer and then you have the Mary Luminizer remember how I said when I think of the Balm Cosmetics I just think of their really cute packaging this is the proof guys like they're so so cute all right so the Mary Luminizer is this one right here which is this really champagne almost white highlight and then for the Betty Luminizer again this is more of the bronzier shade and if you guys were to compare them Mary Luminizer Betty Luminizers so if you're more on the tan side I highly recommend this one this will make you look like a bronze goddess and then if you're more on the fair side I highly suggest picking up the Mary Luminizer next up I picked up this trio right here this is the Balm Cosmetics three individual products in one and it has Hot Mama, Bahama Mama, and Sexy Mama and the names are so cute you guys. I I don't even know how they came up with these names but they're so cute. So Hot Mama which is right here is a shadow and slash blush. Bahama Mama, yes Bahama Mama is a bronzer and then Sexy Mama is an anti-shine translucent powder. Starting off with Bahama Mama which is their bronzer. Again, look how cute their packaging is. Alright, so starting off with Bahama Mama. Again, it's like this yellow packaging. It comes with a baby mirror right here and it also has the product obviously and this is the bronzer. Alright, so for Bahama Mama, this is the shade right here which is a blush and eyeshadow at the same time. And last but not least, you have Sexy Mama which is the anti-shine translucent powder and I'm so so excited for this one because as you guys know I'm an oily type of girl so this is the powder right here it's a nice beige color last but not least from the balm cosmetics I picked up this set right here which is the nude Tude palettes along with the put a lid on it eyelid primer and so the palette looks like this again really cute packaging so these are the shades in the palette I believe there's 12 of them and they're called sassy, stubborn, selfish, sophisticated, sexy, and serious. They're all S, super cute. And it also comes with an eyeshadow brush and a mirror. So I'm really excited for this one. And then in the set, it came with the put a lid on it eyelid primer. Moving on, I picked up a few items from NYX. And the first one is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this has a spoolie and, and the actual product on the other side. So that's really awesome. I'm someone who likes to try eyebrow stuff just because I haven't found my holy grail eyebrow product yet so I like trying out eyebrow products and this is in the shade chocolate next up I also picked up another eyebrow product and this is the NYX tame and frame tinted brow pomade again this kind of reminds me of Anastasia to be honest but no hate I love both of them and I got this in the shade espresso and it's just this little baby tub right here moving on to lips I picked up four items the first one is the NYX butter gloss in the shade tiramisu and it's this nice muted dusty pink color the next one I picked up one of their NYX lingerie 
liquid lipstick in the shade lace detail it is the exact same color as my shirt unless I'm just really bad at these colors and then I also picked up another NYX lingerie and this is in the shade bedtime flirt this is another pinkish and mauvey color and then last but not least I picked up this brown shade which it looked really like a light nude on their website but when i got it it's like pretty dark so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna like like this one this is in the shade honeymoon and it's this nice deep brown color now i don't look good in nude color like i think that's just my opinion moving on to blushes i picked up two from nyx the first one is beach babe which is this bronzy blush right here i picked this one up specifically because it had the word beach and you guys know that i'm a beachaholic and then i also picked up the shade intuition which is this nice baby pink mauve color and both of these blushes have little specks of glitter on them so i'm very very excited because i've been really into like glittery blushes. The second to last item I got from NYX is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder and I've heard a bunch of my friends use this and they loved it. And I wanted to try this out because I'm currently using the Laura Mercier or the RCMA and I feel like just branching out my makeup collection I guess you can say. And last but not least I picked up the NYX Highlighting and Contouring Pro Palettes and to be honest I wanted this before I even got the Anastasia one but i don't know why i went with the anastasia one but i love that one so i'm very excited to have this because this was my first initial choice between the anastasia one and this one so now that i have it i'm very very excited moving on i picked two of the same items from real techniques and they are the beauty sponges and i have my beauty blender that i got a couple weeks ago or maybe like a month ago and it's starting to get really really gross moving on to l'oreal i picked two items the first one is the l'oreal paris infallible mattifying base which i've heard of the foundation one and a lot of people who are oily loves it but i've never like gotten around to actually getting it but when i saw this i had to pick this one up just because i already have my own favorite foundation and i don't need to buy any more foundation to be honest so i just got this primer which supposedly keeps your oiliness at bay so we will have to see that but i'm very excited to try this out because if their foundation works i'm really really hoping that this actually works because it's like the same line and yeah last but not least from l'oreal i picked up this lipstick and this is in their gold obsession line which to be honest i've never seen these in the u.s i don't know if it's just exclusive in like europe or something but i've never seen this so this is in the shade rouge gold and it is this nice vibrant red lipstick which i will probably be wearing on christmas time because again it's not christmas without some really nice red lipstick so very excited for this moving on to maybelline i picked up the rocket volume express mascara i have a ton of my friends saying that they love this one i've tried the orange one which is like the og maybelline one i guess and then i also have the lash sensational which is one of my favorite favorite mascaras out there but i've never tried this one which is weird because i feel like everyone has gone through these like little bottles right here and then i also picked up a concealer from maybelline and this is their fit me maybelline concealer in the shade 20 which to be honest it looks super light on my skin but we will just have to see i'll probably just use this to highlight a little bit under my eye but not like to cover up pimples or something and last but not least i picked up a liquid liner and this is the master precise liquid eyeliner from maybelline and this is in the shade black obviously and it has this really really pointy tip right here which i'm very excited for all right guys so i know this was a long one but keep holding on there's a few more this is actually the last brand that i picked up and this is from rimmel i picked up this lipstick from the kate's line and this is in the number eight it is this nice nude mauvey color again i am obsessed with mauves and dusty rose i also picked up another lipstick from the same line and this this is in the shade or number three which is a nudish peachy shade and I know I told you guys that I don't like nude lipsticks on my lips but if it has like a little bit of a pink or peachy tone I will definitely wear it but if it's just like plain nude I really don't like it on my lips and then I had to pick up some of their lip liners because if you guys know me you know that my favorite favorite lip liners out there are from Rimmel London and I picked Three of them the first one is my all-time favorite which is oil spice and i had to get another one just because of my other one 
is getting smaller and smaller every single day so I had to pick it up this is one of my favorites if not my favorite lip liners out there the second one is in the shade tiramisu if you guys remember I mentioned I got a lipstick or like a lip gloss from NYX that is called tiramisu and I got this one specifically to pair it up with that lip gloss and it's this nice nudish pinkish color and last but not least I picked up a darker lip liner and this is in the shade wine it's like this nice red wine color maybe that's why they called it wine because it kind of looks like the color of wine I picked up three of them and if you guys are looking for really really good and underrated lip liners check out Rimmel London because they have one of the most amazing creamy and it just makes your lipstick stay on so much longer and I'm not getting paid to say this because I just genuinely love Rimmel London. I feel like they're one of those drugstore brands that are like so underrated but they have like one of the most amazing products out there so I'm very excited for these. The second to last item is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow Concealer. To be honest I have heard like mixed feelings about this concealer but I wanted to try it out because you know how everyone's different? One person might love it, one person might hate it so I just hope that I'm gonna love this one. And last but not least we have another lip product from Rimmel London and this is from their line Lasting Finish Color Rush and this is in the shade Drive Me Nude. These are the types of nudes I like. I really, really think they're so pretty. It kind of resembles my shirt, to be honest. But again, I've never seen this in the US. I don't know if this is just exclusively in Europe, but I'm so happy that I got this one because I'm very excited. It looks like a jumbo eye pencil, to be honest. And it's so cute, you guys. So I'm very, very excited about that. Anyways, guys, that concludes my huge huge gigantic beauty haul that was a lot and again if you guys are planning on purchasing anything from their website I will have a coupon code for you guys which will give you 20% off and it is just for Rina and I just want to say thank you to Phil Unique for partnering up with me on this video honestly I think I am set for the rest of the year as far as makeup goes this is a lot and also I want to say thank you thank you thank you guys so much for those people who watches my videos likes my videos comments on my videos and shares my videos because honestly these opportunities would not be possible if it weren't for you guys so thank you thank you thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and yeah i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you guys on my next video bye